New tonight, the FBI trying to get a national perspective on police officers' use of force, asking all police departments to voluntarily submit data about every time they cause death or serious bodily injury. But ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius has found out several large Arizona police agencies, including Phoenix, are choosing not to submit their information. project here is supposed to increase transparency and our understanding about how, when, and why police officers hit, taser, and shoot. And it seems especially important right now. Concern about police brutality dominates national and local headlines and community conversations. Whoa. The FBI, for the first time, is trying to give a national perspective on police use of force, but after 18 months of data requests, many police departments are saying no. A Newsy investigation in June. Our colleagues at Newsy found while 90% of police agencies participate in the FBI's uniform crime report, detailing murder, rape, and robbery, as well as other offenses in the jurisdictions, when it comes to sharing information on police violence, agencies representing just 40% of the nation's officers have agreed to share their data. We want to earn the trust and respect of our community. So with reporting to the FBI, as well as our own reporting on our website, we believe it's the best thing to do so that the citizens and residents of Chandler know exactly what's going on here at the police department. Chandler police started submitting data and they're now updating their report writing system to better capture what the FBI wants, such as the race of the officer and the weapons involved. Our current report writing system was not capturing the data where we would actually have to go in and pick it out ourselves. Um, wasn't the ideal thing to do, so we're in the process of updating our report writing system. Chandler's one of only four of Arizona's 10 largest cities that have signed on, according to the FBI. The others are Tucson, Mesa, and Scottsdale. That leaves six others which have not. Gilbert, that says at least they've registered, plus Glendale, Peoria, Tempe, Surprise, and the state's largest city, Phoenix. Phoenix PD says they're doing their own thing. We are currently in the final stages of developing our own use of force public dashboard. The information will be posted on Phoenix's open data website shortly, along with other data sets such as crime statistics, officer-involved shootings, and calls for service. According to the FBI, several other smaller Arizona police agencies have sent use of force info, but none of our 15 sheriff's departments have agreed to participate. And the Arizona Department of Public Safety, currently being scrutinized for the shooting of an unarmed motorist, Dion Johnson, says this. The department's intent is to participate in the program and is currently formatting its data collection system to be aligned with the information needed for the FBI's database. The department remains committed to transparency. Some of Arizona's police agencies that are not sending their data to the FBI say use of force data is available to the public either on their own websites or through public records requests. But former Phoenix Assistant Police Chief Kevin Robinson, now a university professor, encourages chiefs to make the extra effort. One of the best things we can do is be open and transparent and give information freely and willingly. He says once complete, the FBI's use of force database will provide snapshots that both the public and police chiefs can learn from. And that may tell you that maybe you need more police officers or it may tell you that maybe you're doing too much. I mean, who knows, but it's good to have information because information will help drive decisions. So why does it matter who's participating and who's not in the FBI's use of force database? Because the FBI wants most police agencies to sign on before they actually are willing to share this use of force data publicly. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona.